as always I I really like to race in the uh, Flemish classics and Vargem is one of them so um, let's hope that's going to be successful uh, race for us for me and I'm really looking forward to to be on the cobbles to be on the on the on the Quarmond, on the Paterberg. I really love to to race there and of course we we have strong team here with uh, uh, with Nick Terza, which he won uh, last year, and Mark Cavini, so for sure we will try to do something. As always, we are not scary of it. Uh, harder means better, so uh, we're looking forward. Flanders, first race from the second part of the classics uh, after Kuhne and uh, Omelop Niesblad that we won is a very important uh, week for us. We have a very strong, strong team, we have Sprinter with Mark Cavendish, we have the world champion Kwiatowski, we have so the ex uh, winner from, uh, from last year, Niki Terps, and we have a very strong team. Uh, the weather is not so nice today, a lot of rain in the beginning but coming dry. In, on the end. With that we try to, to make uh, a very hard race today. Uh, when we're coming on the climbs we make some uh, acceleration and then uh, we wait and see the situation. All the peloton want to be in the breakaway uh, today so for 70 kilometers we had uh, really hard racing and especially I was difficult for us because uh, Nicolas Maas and uh, Guillaume van Kerkbroek, they had a uh, flat tie in the beginning, so it was not easy to control. After 70 k the brake was gone and we could uh, you know, set up the ties of the peloton chasing down the breakaway. See what we can still do. I mean, going to the finish line with three others, two from uh, top spot is maybe not the best solution, but uh, we will see what's, what's still doable. In the second group, we still have Maas and Van Kerstburg. They should just stay on the wheel and see what if somebody brings them back. So, ideally, either Kvia goes alone. There in the front, so I decide to to go away with uh, you know two another guys. Then we catch the uh, the winner of, of today, and uh, we rolled with with four guys in the front. We have always like 30, 40, one, even one minute advantage. So I was going for for the sprint, and and uh, finally uh, I arrived on on the fourth place. Uh, of course, could be better, but uh, was difficult to to race against two riders from top of runner called Grasso. Them, they they really good uh, good race, and uh, yeah, I'm happy about my condition today, and uh, that everything is going well after after San Remo. I will go back to Spain to to train a little bit uh, in the good weather in before uh, Volta Paz Basco. And uh, yeah, of course, I'm heading there uh, after that to uh, to Amstel Fresh and that's uh, I'm really focused now to, to be in shape, to be with my peak form.